intro. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I just put the robot in the drawer and he's throwing a little robot to her tantrum. It is, it's really funny. He's kicking his feet and he was saying things a minute ago. He's still in there kicking his feet. But anyway, you guys. So hello to all of you guys. So originally it was supposed to be me and Sam today, but Sam had to work very, very late last night. So he is still very much asleep. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Sam said, Sam is here. He's awake. What? I Rachel just him. told me you were still sleeping. Colleen is here though. <laughs> oh, is that my peanut head? I didn't realize that. Colleen is here. Colleen and I are working on, Colleen has, she came to my house this morning with so many wonderful ideas, you guys. And I'm not going to tell you what any of them are because we're going to unveil those later on. But just know that like Colleen is brilliant and she's coming up with amazing things and I can't wait. So you guys are going to be really, um, really excited about all of the fun things that are coming up this summer for all of us here in the Sarah Lovecraft Designs community. And of course, the Sam's community is welcome as well, because, you know, we're all kind of one in the same, thankfully. So, and Sam is awake, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I, it's funny because I had just gotten a message from Rachel who said that Sam was still asleep. And then I look up and Sam is in the comments. So, yay, that's awesome. Um, So, uh, reading comments here, reading comments. She's a dream that Miss Colleen. Oh, I know oh she totally is. <laughs> <Y'all>. <laughs> love you so I love it. I love it. So, all right. Let me tell you about the show today. First and foremost, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Love all of you so, so much. Um, so in the show today, I have some spring earrings kits that are available over in Sam's Speed Shop. So, um, they are beautiful, a beautiful curation of some really beautiful purple and green beads that are really quite lovely. You can do whatever you want to do with them, but I made a bunch of earrings out of them. So I'm going to show you guys four pairs of earrings. They're easy. These are not super hard earrings. These are, um, these are easy to put together earrings. All of them you can put all but one pair you can put together with very minimal materials. And then one pair is just I've added some bead caps and spacers and stuff. Um, so feel free to like go through your stash and, and you know, add whatever you want to to them. Um, it was a really simple pair, but uh, it kind of goes to show that stacking thing that we've been doing, you know, works for everything, not just lamp work, because we've done it previously with lamp work. Um, but anyway, so that's what the plan is for the show, the show today. I'm going to turn you guys around here in just a second, and we're going to get started. But before we do that, I just want to remind everyone that uh, I've got the show going on here. Hardwired will be meeting at 4 p.m. and... Sam's got a show later, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Sam's got a sale tonight. What is the time on that one? I always get it messed up because it's different. Oh, it's 8 p.m. Eastern. So. 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm not sure what that is. I would say 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock Pacific? I could be wrong, Sam. I apologize <laughs> if it's on me. I, I never say the time because I always get it screwed up. Well, now, I know they're three hours. So whatever is the three hours behind us. Okay, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7. 5, p, 5 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yes, there we go. I got it. I got, got it. it. <laughs> Thank you. I could not have done that without you. <laughs> I love you. And then, of course, um, I've got uh, our Feel Good Friday show. Sorry, my brain just stopped working there because uh, there were numbers going on in there. That that throws everything off. <laughs> but yeah, so 5 p.m. Whoa, no, we've already talked about that. 1 p.m. on Friday for our Feel Good Friday show. Um, and then Mastermaker is at 4 p.m. So it's pretty much a basic week as as always. Um, just wanted to give you guys the rundown because, you know, life happens and sometimes we forget what's going on. And clearly I cannot differentiate the time zone changes. Whoa, I'm going to turn you guys around. <laughs> And yes, Colleen is here. If you hear our giggling in the background, that is most definitely Colleen. I'll try to keep it to a minimum, friends. No, no, no. We love to hear you laugh. All right, so I'm going to turn on some extra lights here and brighten things up a bit. And I'm going to show you guys the beads that are in these cutie patootie little kits. And then we're going to make some earrings because that's why we're here, right? 
All right, so I want to show these to you. So this one is actually missing two beads. Um, that is uh, my fault. But your whole little kit here is going to include these two. Well, it'd be helpful if you could see these two big melons. These are so awesome. And Wanda, cue Wanda. <laughs> Wanda shall say what? Nice melons. I'm, 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 yeah. about, I'm pretty sure. All right, we've got four of these beautiful check glass rectangles. I love these. They have that really soft, beautiful purple in them. It comes with four cathedrals. I've only got two in my hand. It comes with four of those. There are two of these beautiful ones that it's like purpley, bronzy, lustery yumminess. I love those. There are, are there six or are there eight? I don't want to mess this up because I was grabbing the beads right at the last minute here. It's only six. So let me take two of these away. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. My bad. Six. There we go. Of the little daggers. Okay. There are four rice beads. There are two fire polish. And then two of these other little guys. Super cute. So tons of pairs here, right? And again, mine's missing two of the cathedrals because they're they are elsewhere. But those are all of the beads. Now listen, if you put these together in pairs, you could make how many? How many kits could you or how many pairs of earrings? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? Thirteen? I'm gonna say eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop with the numbers today because clearly, wow. I only say that because that's what Sam's ad said, 11 okay. pairs. Okay, 11 okay. pairs. Okay. Sam says 13 pairs there, but I, I, I'm, see, yeah, you're right, 13. everybody's confusing me today. All right, so anyway, these are all the, the beautiful beads, and you can make a ton of earrings. I'm going to make four pairs, and I'm going to use every single bead, okay? So you can do it that way, or you can use them, you know, one or two for your earrings. All right, so let's get started. Try to decide which ones we should make first because I've got four different pairs here. I want to show you. And I, like I said, I used every bead. So I made these cutie patootie little hoops with the daggers and the rectangles. Okay, so there are those. I made some of these really beautiful long shoulder dusters with the cathedral beads and the melons and I used some um, coiled wire to do a little bit of herringbone and then I did just some wire wrapping on these and again these would be considered shoulder dusters now you can make these shorter you don't have to make them as long as I do you could definitely leave a, be a bead out and put those in a different pair of earrings if you wanted to and the same with these if the two cathedral beads are too if that's too long for you, you can definitely shorten those up and make even more earrings, right? And then the last pair that I made that I was talking about just a little while ago is just stacking them up, right? Just stacking up beautiful beads and adding some spacers and bead caps and, you know, and you could come up with something really beautiful. So these are the four pairs of earrings we're going to put together. We're going to keep it quick and simple here. I think we're going to start out with the little hoops. So let's get these together so for these you're going to be using some 20 gauge wire uh, you can use any color that you want to i chose to use some gold here but you're going to need like i believe it was five inches and that might be a little a little excessive but you do need um at least four inches to put these together okay so 20 gauge wire which is a wire i don't particularly use very often this 22 is kind of my go-to but what you want to be sure of with these is that you make your hoop big enough for your daggers to slide onto. If your hoop gets a little bit too small, it's really hard to wiggle those on because of the way that they're drilled. So you just, if you want to make a hoop, just keep that in mind. They do have to be at, at least, at least, you know, I'm thinking maybe 12 millimeter hoops at the very least. All right, so I'm using my artistic choir mandrel tool and going to place that on here. Now, I don't really know for sure which one of these I used. I believe it was this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's the eighth one down from the top if you want to make them exactly the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe it was the seventh. Well, let's go with the seventh. 
All right, so I'm just going to take my wire and placing it, and I sort of like wrapping a briolette. I want to have a short end and a long end, so I don't place the wire centered, right? I've got a little bit shorter piece and a little bit longer piece. Okay, so we're just going to wrap that around just like that. We're going to crisscross our wires, okay? Now, before I take this off of the tool, I'm going to grab the long end and I'm going to bend it straight up and down. Okay. And then the other one very gently, and I'm not going to use the tool. I'm just kind of using my finger now to kind of bend it more straight. Okay. I'm going to take this off of the tool and then I'm going to slide on my beads. So I've got the three daggers here and I believe this one was a little bit bigger than the original, but that's okay. And I'm going to slide these on. And I can tell my wire is a little, has a little bit of a curve in it and I need to trim the end just a little bit because the wire needs to be nice and smooth to get these daggers on. There, that makes a big difference. So what you're gonna do is you're just very gently gonna let those slip right into the loop. And I actually tried this with 18 gauge wire and it would work with some of the daggers, but not all of them. Don't force it. 20 gauge wire is going to be absolutely the largest wire to use for this. Okay. All right. So I thread all of those on there. Now I'm going to use a pair of pliers. I usually like to use my bent chain nose pliers for this, but it really doesn't make that big of a difference, honestly. Um, just as long as you're holding it away from where you need to wrap. So I'm going to hold on to that loop. It's going to keep all of that nice and stable so that I can take <clears throat> the shorter wire and wrap it around the longer wire about two or three times. I'm really just going to only do two. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with my cutter tool and trim off. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to take one of those beautiful rectangle beads and I'm going to thread that on and I'm going to do a simple loop. Now you could do a wrapped loop if you want to, totally up to you. On this one, I did just a simple loop. I'm not sure why I did a simple loop. <laughs> why did I make that choice? Let's do a wrapped loop on this one. I don't know why I, I did that. Either one is going to work just fine. We'll do a wrapped loop for this one. All right, so I'm just bending the wire over the top of the pliers. I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers, taking the wire up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then you're gonna wire wrap in that space between the loop and the top of your bead. Okay, and then you're just gonna come in with your cutter tool and trim off the excess, and you're just gonna add your ear wire. So these go together really, really quickly really, really quickly. And they're so cute. All right. <clears throat> there you go. Super cute. I love those. And they don't use a ton of beads, right? So we've got four beads in this earring. So for the pair, you're going to use eight beads total and you've still got plenty of beads left over, right? All right, so there was pair number one. Okay, I'm going to sit these to the side and we're going to move on to pair number two. So for pair number two, let's do these. So we're going to do our own wrapped eye pins. We're going to do a knotted head pin here. You're going to use three pieces of 22 gauge wire for this. And we're going to start out with our bottom here. So we're going to do our knotted head pin. So we're going to use our round nose pliers, grabbing the very tip of the wire, the tip of the wire and the tip of the pliers. And we are going to roll that wire around the tip of the pliers once. And then we're going to go a second time directly underneath that one, all the way around. So you're doing two wraps, making two little coils. And then you're going to bend the wire before you take this off the tool. You're going to bend it so that it runs underneath those coils away from your hand and away from the tool. Take that off. Take the wire, bend it back, stick it through the coil. Okay. 
And then you're gonna grab this with your nylon jaw pliers and you wanna grab it right up against the coils that you made. And then using another pair of pliers, pull. You're gonna pull a knot right into the end of your wire. It makes a pretty little rosette. You've got yourself a knotted head pin. We're gonna thread on our check glass bead and then we're just gonna do a wrapped loop, okay? All right, so grabbing the wire where it exits the bead, bend the wire, coming in with our round nose pliers, up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then wire wrap. Now, of course, you don't have to do your own wire for this, right? You can use a head pin, a pre-made head pin and pre-made eye pins. Nobody's gonna judge you, but if you don't want to, right, you can do this with all of your own wire. Okay, so we're gonna trim off the excess. All right, so now next thing we're gonna add is one of the little rice beads. So there are two rice beads added. Again, if you wanna make your earring a little bit shorter, you don't have to use both. Or quite honestly, you could just put an ear wire on this and it would be a beautiful earring all by itself, right? All right, so if you want to do the dangles though, we're gonna take another piece of our 22 gauge wire. We're gonna come down on the wire about an inch, inch and a half, and we're gonna give the wire a bend. We're gonna come in with our round nose pliers and we're gonna take the, the wire up and over the top barrel rotate, take the wire over to the other side. Now, before we do those wraps though, take it off of the tool, okay? We're gonna take the tail end of that wire and we're gonna go right through the loop that we just made on the previous bead and just snap those two together, okay? Now, I do like to use the bent chain nose pliers for this just because it's a little bit smaller than the hoop that we made in the previous pair of earrings. I like to use the bent chain nose pliers because it keeps the tip of the pliers out of the way. You're gonna hold on to that loop and then you're gonna wire wrap about three times. Okay, and then you're gonna come in with your cutter tool and trim off. Okay, so basically you've just made an eye pin with a wrapped loop and you've wrapped it directly to the wrapped loop we made on our, our previous wrapping, <laughs> previous bead. I don't know, words are hard today. All right, if you wanna use jump rings in between these, you absolutely can, okay? I'm just giving you the basics and you can do how, you can do this however you want to. I'm gonna thread on my rice bead and then I'm gonna complete another wrapped loop. Okay, so chain those pliers are coming in, grabbing the wire where it exits the bead, giving it a bend, round nose pliers. And up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then wire wrap in that space. Okay, I'm gonna come in with a cutter, trim off. And then we're just gonna repeat that because we're gonna add another bead to the top of this. Now, if you don't want to, it's a good place to stop and add your ear wire. It's a cute little earring, all, all like it is. But I do like really long earrings, so I'm going to go ahead and add the other rice beads. So same steps, right? Bending the wire, round nose pliers coming in, going up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, get off, because again, taking the tail through our previously made wrap loop and just snapping those two together, okay? Using the bent chain nose pliers. And then wire wrapping again. Okay, I'm gonna come in with my cutter, trimming off the excess and adding another bead. All right. The bend. And another wrapped loop, so up and over. Rotate, take the wire over to the other side. And rotate, not rotate, 
crap. What? I'm up here reading comments and trying to work at the same time. So, <laughs> says B Top says, and I believe that that's Sam. I love Sarah streams where she pounds out earrings, easy money makers at shows. And I just had to, I just had to comment on this because it's so true. So this time of year is when lots of people are doing shows and we've talked about it before here and earrings, like simple earrings like these are what I call filler for your booth. Those are your money makers. 100%. So that's absolutely right. These are your easy money makers for sure, right? You put your statement pieces next to your register or wherever you're letting people check out. You also put them on the edges to draw people in. But the money makers in your booth and in your website, honestly, are the filler pieces. And the filler pieces are these. This is what is going to have people spending their money and coming back for more. So absolutely 100% right on that. All right, add the ear wire and these are done, All right? Well, we've made two pairs of earrings and we've only been here for 21 minutes. <laughs> and I did talking. So you can see that's, that just kind of just drives that point home, right? Because it's, they don't take a ton of materials. They don't take a ton of beads, right? But these are the money makers in your booth, 100%. So. Set those over here to the side. Let's move on. All right, let's do something that's got a little, a little extra to it. All right, so we're going to put together these, and these are not hard. It is a little bit of herringbone, not a lot, and I did use some coiled wire. Now, you can use your, um, your wire coiling gizmo to coil your wire, or or you can do it by hand. And quite honestly, that's what I did here. And I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to do the whole thing because I actually have my, my piece for this, my earring pre-cut. But if you don't have the wire coiling gizmo and you want some short little pieces of coiled wire, you can still do it yourself. I'm going to show you real quick what I do um, if I just need a short piece and I don't want to bother getting out my wire coiling gizmo. So I'll take like for this one, I'm using 24 gauge wire. That's what I coiled. Just cut yourself however much you think you're going to need. It always takes more than what you think when you coil wire. So whatever you think you're going to need, you might want to double that. But <clears throat> I like to take scrap wire. You guys ask me a lot what I like to do with my scrap wire pieces. And I hang on to them for reasons just like this. So I've got a piece of 18 gauge wire here. It's just a scrap piece. This was from a project. Uh, from, an, from a different day, and I just set it to the side because I can use this over and over again for different things, right? And coiling wire is one of those things. So it's not super fun, and it does take some time, but if you want a little, little piece of coiled wire, you can do it this way, right? So basically, all you're going to do is exactly that. You're just going to take the wire, you're going to wrap it around that piece of 18-gauge wire, making sure that you hold on to the tail. And then quite honestly, that's all you're going to do is you're just going to continue to wrap it around just like this, right? Now, again, <laughs> I would only do this by hand if you need short pieces that are maybe an inch or two long. If you need long pieces, you want to get your wire coiling gizmo out, right? Or whatever it is that you use to coil wire. Otherwise, there's no reason why you can't just create yourself a little piece, right? So you're just going to work that up. And of course, I come in and kind of push it together with my fingernails. You're going to work that up as long as the piece that you need. And then you're just going to slide it off. And you can see you've got your hole here where you can thread it onto another piece of wire. Now, again, I don't recommend doing that if you need six inches of it, because it's going to take you a while. But if you just need a couple of inches, like we just need like two inches for this earring, then you really can do that in less than five minutes. I mean, it, it doesn't take tons of time. It does take a lot of wire, though. OK, so I've coiled up 20, uh, some 24 gauge wire here, and I think it was about two inches. Let's, let's measure because I keep saying that and I don't have the materials list in front of me and I don't want to I don't want to tell you wrong. But I do believe this was about, yeah, it was just a little over two inches, okay, of some coiled wire. All right, so as far as what the wire you're going to use to do your herringbone is going to be some more of the 24 gauge wire. You only need about 12 inches of this, okay? So we're going to take our 12 inches of 24 gauge wire. We're going to come down on that wire 
about two inches. Okay, a little bit more than what you normally would for a wraps loop. And we're gonna bend the wire. We're gonna come in with our round nose pliers. One up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side. Now we're going to do some wraps, but we're gonna do several wraps here. We're gonna do, I believe, nine wraps instead of our traditional three. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <clears throat> Okay, then you're going to come in with your cutter and you're going to trim off whatever's left. Okay, now we're going to take our melon bead, thread that on. Okay, all right, now. We're going to take the wire, okay, and we are going to guide it up the side of the bead. Make sure it's laying flat right up against the side of the bead, and you're going to come to the front of the wire wraps that you just created. You're going to take that wire, wrap it around those wire wraps, and then back out the front, okay? Then we're going to go down the side of the bead, okay? And when we get to the wire that's coming out that we started with, we're going to go behind it. And we're just going to keep going all the way around the bead up to the wire wraps again, to the front of those wire wraps. Wrap around, back out the front. So now you've framed your bead. It's got one wire on one side and two on the other side, right? And we're gonna go around one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna take the wire down the side of the bead going behind the wire that already exists. And we're going all the way around to the back of those wires, up here to the wraps, to the front of those wraps, wrap around, back out the front. Okay, now don't cut your wire off yet because now we're gonna add that coiled wire, okay? So I'm just gonna take that coiled wire and I'm gonna thread it on to that 24 gauge wire that I'm using. The tip of mine has a little, I need to trim that off. Okay, so I'm just gonna thread that on. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but now because I've got this coiled wire, it doesn't have to go to the back of the wire wraps that are already there. It, it actually can go to the front or over the top of, it makes no difference, okay? It's totally up to you. But we're just gonna wrap it all the way around the bead, bringing the wire up to the wire wraps, to the front, wrapping around, wrap around twice, to secure it and then we're gonna trim off the excess. So you just created a little coiled wire frame to go all the way around your bead, right? Super cute. And we're gonna trim off. All right, and now we're gonna do another two beads on top, just like we did with these. So you're just gonna need like up three or four inch pieces of 22 gauge wire. Um, or 24 gauge, it's totally up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. I definitely recommend doing the 24 for this, um, but for this you can do the 22 or the 24, totally up to you, okay? I need two pieces of wire here. And we're gonna do our wrapped loops and I am just gonna wire wrap them directly to each other, okay? All right, so down on the wire, about an inch in the wire. Coming in with our round nose pliers, one up and over, 
rotate, take the wire over to the other side. And then before you do anything else, take it off the tool, thread it through the loop, and wiggle those together. Okay. Coming in <clears throat> with the bent chain nose pliers to hold on to that. And then you're going to wire wrap about three times. Okay. And with your cutter to trim off. And now this time we're going to thread on one of those beautiful cathedral beads. Drop that down. We're going to do another wrapped loop to secure. Grabbing the wire where it is exiting the bead, giving it a bend. All right, going up and over. I love the herringbone too, and the coiled wire is such a cool addition to herringbone. I'm glad you guys are liking that design. I really, I really like it myself. All right, I'm gonna trim off. The tip of my cutters is not very sharp. I need to get I need a new pair of cutters. All right, so then we're going to do another wire wrapped bead on top of that. Or you can just go ahead and put your ear wire because I realize these are kind of long. So it looks pretty with just one of the beads. I do like them kind of long. You can see I do like a good shoulder duster. So, all right, same steps as before to add our other bead. So up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side. And again, we're going to take that through the loop on the previous bead. Okay, and we're going to grab the loop with our bent chain of pliers. I'm going to kind of cup those beads in my hand to keep them from falling into the work. Whoops. We're going to wire wrap. Okay. And come in with your cutter, trim off the excess. And then we're just going to repeat that with our cathedral bead. And do another wrap loop and add our ear wire. And these are done. So again, this is kind of, like I said uh, before, your filler. These are your money makers in your booth. This is definitely kind of the meat and potatoes of your your booth because it doesn't take a lot right even though we used extra wire on this one to do a little bit of herringbone it wasn't a ton of wire so it doesn't take a whole lot of materials to make great earrings handful of really beautiful beads And you've got a lot of little money makers for your, your shop or your booth or your website. Once you've added your ear wire, you are done. Those are super cute. Love those. And I do love the herringbone, especially on these melon beads because they already have that really cool gold to them and then just to add a little extra to it just really kind of makes them extra special so super cute little pair of earrings okay so there are those we've got one more pair to make you guys and i will have used every bead in the spring earrings kit over from sam's seed shop and you guys those links are getting dropped in the comments by the way if you'd like to go grab those you absolutely can. All right, so for these earrings, now for those of you who've been watching for a while, you know that lately we've been doing some lamp work designs where we just stack up some beautiful lamp work beads with some bead caps and things, and it really turns your lamp work beads or any bead for that matter into a beautiful design. That is absolutely the case here where I took three beautiful beads, right? And they look amazing just stacked up. I'll show you, they look great just stacked up as is. Uh-oh, I lost one. All right, so I'll show you what they look like without the bead caps because quite honestly, you could just wrap, do a loop, add an ear wire, and those are beautiful, right? Those are, they're stunning, just like they are. But if you add in 
all of the bead caps kind of takes it to a whole other place, right? Definitely takes it to a whole nother fancy level, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I say fancy, but honestly, you guys know, like, that's not fancy to me. I'd still wear those to the, it would take a lot for me to actually, like, I don't know. I'd have to be going to the opera or something. Because <laughs> I'm going to wear my fancy to the grocery store. I'm just saying. All right. So we're just going to stack some things up. Okay. That's basically all we're doing. We, we I just found some bead caps and spacers and a metal bead here to stack up. It doesn't take, again, a whole lot of materials. Now, something about this pair um, I needed an extra long head pin for this, so you can use your own wire. But all I found in my uh, stash was an eye pin. And I was like, that's not good. I need a head pin. And then I thought, well, you know, sometimes somebody else out there might be in the same situation as me. So I'm going to take my eye pin and turn it into a head pin just by grabbing that, that eye at the bottom and just giving it a little bend. Now it's not as good as a knotted head pin. I always think a knotted head pin is better. And that's just because of the way the wire is not centered, right? The wire is coming to the back. However, if you're in a pinch, there's absolutely no reason why you can't do that. Okay, so now what happens is you're gonna take your bead and for us, it's gonna be our fire polish. You're just gonna drop that down. now. You can see it's kind of going to the back a little bit. I don't like that. That's not exactly what I want, right? So I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to just kind of give it a zhuzh, if you will, <laughs> with the pliers. It's just kind of trying to manipulate the wire a little bit so that it will sit better. And you can take the bead on and off a couple of times until you can get it right where you want it. Again, it's just if you're in a pinch. Do I recommend this every single time? I don't because honestly, we can make knotted head pins and, you know, and we, um, if I had had what I needed, I wouldn't have had to. But, you know, sometimes you got to use what you've got. Okay. All right. So, again, it's not perfect. But if that's all you got, it's all you got, you know make it work it's going to keep the bead on that's the number one thing all right so now we're going to thread our beads on or our bead caps i'm going to thread on a bead cap to sit right on the top of that beautiful fire polish bead i'm going to thread on a daisy spacer i'm going to thread on my rectangle check I'm going to thread on a bead cap. It's going to sit really beautifully on top of that. And then I'm going to do another daisy spacer. This one's just a little bit bigger. And then another bead cap. And this time the bead cap is going to be facing upwards. So it makes like a little cup for the next bead that's going to come down, which is one of these little twisty beads. This little super cute they're that same color as these drops in the rice beads and then to top this off i'm going to just put a metal bead on top okay and then i'm going to do a wrap sleeping out our ear wire and that's it like you you've got a really beautiful pair of earrings and we just stacked some things up right beautiful jewelry how many times have i said it? i'm gonna say it again beautiful jewelry does not have to be a representation of every skill that you have ever learned sometimes it's all about just stacking some beautiful things up right and straighten up the wire a little bit and I'm going to come in and make a wrapped loop and you can do a simple loop too if you want to but all right Wanda says they're very royal looking I agree I agree okay and then I'm just going to wire wrap So even though we just did simple earrings today, there's some little nuggets of wisdom in today's show, right? We don't always have to, we don't always have to make complicated jewelry or do crazy techniques to learn something. We talked about doing the coiled wire. We talked about how to use an eye pin as a head pin if you needed to, right? And the difference when you stack things up as opposed to stacking them up with the little pops of metal in between there. So you never know, never discount a project. If you see it and you're like, oh, she's just making little earrings today. That doesn't mean anything. You, you still might learn a little something. You never know, right? All right. 
open those up, thread that ear wire, or thread it onto our ear wire, and these are done. And I used every single bead, right? I used every bead to make all of these beautiful earrings. Now, if you don't want to use all of the cathedrals and all of the rice beads for these, you could still get an, at another two pairs of earrings, right? Just by taking one rice bead and making your earrings a little bit shorter or one of the cathedrals from these, you could still get another two pairs of earrings. And by using every bead, get what, six pairs of earrings out? Or you just use them individually, right? And get what, 13 pairs of earrings? So you that, that little kit of beautiful beady goodness, that's going to go a long way to helping you create some really beautiful designs, either for your craft booth, craft fairs you've got going on for your website, or just for gifts, guys. Because don't forget, Mother's Day is just like right around the corner. And handmade jewelry is one of the top gifted things for Mother's Day. Did you know that? Even if people don't make it themselves, they buy it from other people because it's different. It's different than buying, you know, from a department store. All right, I'm going to turn you guys around. What are the chances we get Sarah to design on the fly with the extra bag I sent? Oh, oh, I see. I see how, I see the game you're playing there, Sam. <laughs> so, okay, before I turn you around, let's see here. Sam did send me some extra beads. So we do have a little bit more time. Huh. Well, I was not really prepared, but... <laughs> I do have extras here. What could we do with them? What else could we do? I don't know. Let's make an extra pair of earrings real quick. What should we put together? Colleen, huh? what would you put together over here? Oh, Come on over here. I don't know. Earrings. <laughs> no, just, just, you don't have to show your face. Just scoot on over here. Okay. Now, now lay out. All right. Okay. So if you had these beads in front of you and I was like, okay, mm -hmm. Colleen, I want you to make a pair of earrings. Oh, what man. would you? Oh man, pressure. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. So... I, I was neither. I didn't, put... <laughs> I, didn't put... I didn't put my underoos on. I'm over here eating peanut butter M&Ms. Like... <laughs> I have to work. What? Right. I don't know, man. They're so pretty. I know. I really love those. Oh, look at my fingers. <laughs> Your fingernail polish is amazing, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably do something with these. Are also pretty. Let's put these together. But you already did that, so. Well, sort of. See, because I just used two of the rice beads, but then I used one of the the bigger beads. But you put together the mm -hmm. rice beads and the little the little ones. Yeah. What if we do some clusters? What if we do some clusters with these leaves, like? Can we fit jump rings in there? Maybe do little clusters? Oh, I don't know. How many do we have? We have six. So we could do three. Oh, we don't have enough for clusters. Darn it, Sam. <laughs> I had my hopes all up. And then I come over here. And now I look foolish. <laughs> yeah, I think your idea is great. Let's go with that. What? That, what? I, I didn't know. Oh, jeez. My gosh. You're funny. You're fun. I like your idea. That's great. And she walks away. <laughs> I didn't take into consideration the supplies. Right. Well, I do like the little rice beads and these little babies. Yeah. Okay. So what would we do? What should we do? What if... Oh, I got an idea. This is why she makes the money, folks. This I, got, I, got, I got an idea. I got an idea. All right. So... I mean, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but like, that's what the fun of designing on the fly, right? I mean, you never know what's going to happen. You're amazing. <laughs> I am not. You are. You are. Uh, so amazing. Uh, <laughs> All right. I don't know how she does it. All right. All right. All right. So, um, let's do, let's do a rep loop. Okay. So I cut a piece of 22 gauge wire. Again, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So. <laughs> Um, okay, so a little wrap sleep here. Oh, I just had another idea. I just had another idea, but I don't know. Do I like the, oh, people want bracelets. Sam, we need bracelet kits next. All the bracelets. Listen, maybe, okay. So maybe, maybe instead of what I was doing, I'll do this instead. Let me just change things. <laughs> 
So we've actually done this before, but we're gonna we're gonna it's it's oh, it'll be different. So this time I cut some some twenty four gauge wire instead of the twenty two that I just had, and I cut a longer piece. So still doing a wrap loop. Haven't changed any of that. Okay. <laughs> Colleen's like, put me on the spot. Watch what I do. <laughs> your idea's great. And then she's gone. <laughs> she's like a phantom. Listen, I gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> All right. I'm going to thread on my daggers. Okay. So I'm only threading on three because I'm making earrings here. I know everybody's saying bracelets, but I'm doing earrings because that was, that was the challenge was earrings. So earrings is what we're doing. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to do a wrap loop, but it's kind of over to the side a little bit. So I've got a little extra wiggle room between those beads, right? That might be a little bit too much wiggle room, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Wrap loop. Okay. Now, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but one time we did earrings where we took the wire, wrap it, lay it across the front, right? Wrap it between, lay it across the front of the next bead. Wrap it. Ugh. Come on now. Hold on. I need to straighten the wire out first. <laughs> okay. Laying it across the bead. Wrap between. Goodness. If my fingers would hold on to it, it would be a lot better. Lay down. Okay. And wrapping across the bead. That one in the middle is just not behaving. All right. I must have to straighten it up now. All right. And then we go back the other direction. Across the bead. In between. All right. Across the bead. What the heckity boo. <laughs> I could have made one earring. I could have made a cluster. Uh, I, I know. I didn't realize. I didn't understand. So that. I'm just doing this messy thing back and forth. It's not super pretty. Rules. She didn't understand the rules. <laughs> she did not understand the assignment. I did not. So okay. I'm just kind of messy wrapping around there. It's not. I mean, I could do this a lot better, but y'all come on. We're on the fly here. It looks great. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay. And this also gives me the opportunity because there's a little bit of space in between there where we had the wire wraps and stuff to really bend these into a curve, right? So that they are, they're making a nice U shape. Okay. So now what if... I took those like that and then one of those. All right. Okay. So let's see. Do I know what I need to do that? Or are we going to have to cut our own? So we're going to have to do our own wire, which is fine. And just leave this one. Use it. Trim off the excess. No, that's not going to work. Just kidding. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Excuse me. We're going to make our own simple loop ish with a piece of wire. And you could do a wrap loop if you wanted to, but I mean, open that up, thread that on here. No, I'm not making a bracelet. <laughs> 
everybody wanted a bracelet and that's too, that's just too much pressure too much pressure no 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 this earrings party <laughs> we're making an earring okay and then trim off okay I'm gonna do another one Oh, goodness. All right. I'm bending the tip of the wire just a little because a fourth of an inch is all you need for a simple loop, right? Pull back. There's our little loop. Twist to open it. Threading it on over here. Whoa, that's a big piece of wire. <laughs> Did not need all of that, but that's okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now I'm gonna do a wrap loop. Okay. Before I wrap, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. Before I do the wrap sleep, I'm gonna thread those on and sneak both of those into that loop. Maybe. Come on, one of them went. There's the other one. There we go. Okay. And then we're adding one of these cutie patootie little beads and doing a wrap loop and adding an ear wire. Ha! Huh? Those are cute. That's what I'm saying. Super cute little bead or earrings. Gorgeous earring. That's why we need that up to you. <laughs> Come on. You do not give yourself enough credit. You are an amazing designer. Like, amazing designer. You obviously don't do well when you're put on the spot. Oh, I'm but... just. <laughs> That's a whole cabinet. I do not possess. <laughs> that was mean of me. I'm sorry that I did that, that to you. Good. I loved it. <laughs> I should not have put you on the spot like that. It was fun. But that is a gorgeous area. Oh my goodness. I might be taking no, we only have one, huh? We only have one, but I mean I can make the other one off off camera. Mm -hmm. Um Look how cute that is. That's just a cutie patootie little earring. I don't know why cutie patootie is my word today, but, or my descriptor for the day. Oh, do I have an ear wire around here? I do. I do. I open a bag of ear wires. There we go. on the fly really fast <laughs> those are cute mm -hmm. pretty cute yep so how'd i do sam how'd i do <laughs> a little design on the fly there this is really cute and it just goes to show that like with a little little tray of beads right the most beautiful little tray of beads you can put together some really cool designs you don't have to do exactly what i did right you can come up with your own stuff Right? I just gave you some inspiration here to using all of those cute little beads in the spring earrings kit. But yeah, there you go, guys. Now you've got five, five design ideas instead of four. 
All right. So guys, don't forget to grab those earrings kits over at Sam's Speed Shop. The links are in the uh, the chat log here or they are in the description of this video. So if you come back and watch this on replay, you can always click those links later on. I'm going to turn you all around and we will look at all of these from a different point of view because perspective is everything, right? <laughs> All right, so these were the ones that we put together with the little herringbone. And the twisted wire around them. So that's what those look like. Now I will say these are a little, a little heavy. They're not super, super heavy, but when you add that twisted wire to the melon, it does add a little bit of weight. I don't think that they would be super uncomfortable, but some of you who struggle with wearing heavier earrings all day long, if it gives you a headache, you might want to take one of the um, cathedral beads off and that'll, that will definitely help. We've got these with the beautiful rice beads and the little drops. I love those. We have our hoops. This was, this was the first pair that we made, right? We used the artistic wire mandrel tool. And then we have our stack, our beautiful little stack with just the addition of some bead caps and spacer beads. And then our last little design on the fly pair, which were these little guys. They're super cute. I love those. And let's see, I got a couple of texts over here that look like they're from Sam. Let's make sure that there's, oh, I'm glad I picked this up. So. He wanted me to shout out to you guys that they are that over in Sam's Speed Shop. Sam is launching leather cord on tonight's sale, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. He was sure to put that on there because <laughs> he's always struggling with that part. And uh, we had that whole discussion at the beginning. So don't forget about that. So don't forget about the sale tonight over on Sam's Speed Shop, right? Uh, don't forget to come and hang out with me. If you are hardwired, we have got, you guys, I've got new hardwired members that are coming in. So, <coughs> excuse me. I've got a beginner friendly project for our hardwired members for this week. And then of course, we've got our Feel Good Friday show at 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday and Master Maker at 4 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. So there you go. Lots and lots fun things going on but don't forget to sell because if you want leather Lou Wanda's fanning herself leather with Sam <laughs> exactly yes so uh, don't forget about that because I'm pretty sure that things like that sell really really quickly I don't know I try to I try not to watch how horrible am I I try not to watch the sales until after they are over and then I watch them on replay so that I don't spend a ton of money which makes me like the worst salesperson for Sam's Speed Shop ever. You don't do as I do. Do as I say and go watch it live. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's it fun. is It is a lot of fun. I feel like I miss out on so many things because I don't watch it live. But Yeah, and even if you can't buy stuff, it's an education in gemstones. I learned so much by watching Sam's lives as far as gemstones. Yeah. And I, I just, it's so much fun. Well, there you go. There you, you go. You heard it. <laughs> you heard it. There it is. I'll see you there tonight. <laughs> Colleen will definitely see you there tonight for sure. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and letting me be a part of your Tuesday. I almost said Monday. I think I need to go back to bed. Like my brain is just <laughs> not on point today. I love you guys so, so much. I will see you guys later. Have an amazing rest of your day. Hardwired. I'll see you guys here in just about two hours. Okay. Bye guys. Love you.